Hello, my name is Amanda Lynn. I'm the technical content writer here at Blue Marble Geographics. And for today's Ask the Experts video, I'm gonna show you how to stream Intermap's next map elevation data directly into Global Mapper. So you can do that using the online data tool. It's this little globe icon here in the top left-hand corner. From this tool, you can stream a whole bunch of different data source types, including NextMap's two data sources here. I've pulled these from the Worldwide Data tab, but you can also find them in the Terrain tab or within Premium Content as well. All three of those tabs um, will point you to the same data, same source. Now, there are two different data types you can stream. There's a DSM and a DTM. A DSM is a digital surface model, so that is the ground and also the structures on top of it. The other is a digital terrain model, so that's just the terrain without any structures on top of it. And we'll look at this a little more closely here in a moment. Because this data is available anywhere in the world, it's recommended that you select the area that you want to download. Now, the default option here in the online data tool is just to, um, to download your current screen bounds, and that's just the data that's visible on the screen here that you have loaded. I have Denver pulled up here that you can see in the background, and we'll look at that a little more as well. And it's going to be bounded by those edges, so anything that I can't see on my screen will not be included in the download. You can also choose to limit it by a specific address or latitude and longitude, or if you have a polygon or area feature already loaded in your workspace, you could select that and just download the data within that area feature as well. Easy peasy. So let's download the digital terrain model. It's prompting me for my login information here. Now, NextMap does have a free two-week trial license. Information for that is in the description if you'd like to give it a shot. Um, more information can be found at their website. So I'll click OK to download that data. And we can see that it has downloaded beautiful high resolution terrain data here. It's automatically colored with the Atlas shader up here in the shader dropdown. And you can change that to any other shader we have included, including the color map shader, which shows elevation, or the slope shader, which is a fun one. If you want to look at the slope values, you can use the feature info tool and click on any pixel that's loaded and see the data, the attribute information that's loaded for each one, including the height information and the slope degrees and percentages. All of that data is streamed right along with NextMap. I'm going to set this back to the default uh, Atlas shader, and we can also look at this in the 3D view as well. I'm loading it on my little laptop here, so the um, screen resolution is a little low, but this data is very high quality. So let's go ahead and load the digital surface model here as well, just to compare the two. And from this zoom level, you can see all the individual buildings of Denver, but you can't see the individual streets that isn't included in, a, in any standard digital surface model. But within Global Mapper, you can also stream map to lay on top of it. So what I've done is I've opened raster options, and I'm turning the transparency down so you can see the elevation data underneath it. And this just helps to give you some visual context as a user as to where things are in the data set that you're looking at. It's just a, um, a useful tool in Global Mapper. Now let's zoom into Denver a little bit and look at these DSM and DTM layers more closely. So we can see the individual buildings. I'll turn off the street map so we can look at the data specifically. Each of those buildings is pretty crisp. And I'm going to use the path profile tool to get a perpendicular perspective of the data, a little bit more easily compared. Now, by default here, we can see that the path profile tool has only shown one uh, layer, but we can change that in the settings to show two layers to let us compare the two different layers in Global Mapper. So clicking OK, we can now clearly see the orange outline on top is the digital surface model. So you can clearly see like the crisp corners of each of the buildings. And underneath that, in the straight green line, you can see the digital terrain model and how flat it is, and it doesn't contain any of those structures. So we'll click the Home tool to bring us zoomed back out to our previous extent. And now that we've looked at the cities a little bit, let's look at what you can do with the elevation data in itself. So I'm going to zoom into the more mountainous areas here to look at Global Mapper's elevation data. I'm going to turn off the structure model. We're just going to look at the terrain. So I'm going to create some contours here. Again, I haven't downloaded the data. I've just streamed it in. But these contours are going to be generated and saved here within Global Mapper. We can see the contour lines have been generated in Global Mapper. If you wanted to, you could export that to load in a CAD file or anything that you would normally do with your contour lines. But let's also, while we're here, let's look at creating a watershed data set. Now, this is how Global Mapper maps how a single water droplet would move across the data set if it were dropped in each um, pixel there. 
So this creates not only drainage areas, but also line features. So you can see the streams and where each area would go from. And again, this is all generated based on NextMap's elevation data set. It's high resolution and it's really smooth. Um, they have a two week trial license if you'd like to go ahead and give that a shot. And thanks for having me.